Hello there. In this video, we are taking our first trip to the Boundary Waters in Lake Saganaga with my son, who's three years old, and my brother, and we're going to get some fishing and camping in. It took us a while, but we were able to make it to Cascade River State Park, where we set up camp late in eager anticipation for our next day. Our plan for July 8th was to get to the Grand Marais orientation for the BWCA and then get to the Seagull River boat landing. Early on day two, we packed up camp, ate breakfast, headed into Grand Marais and did our orientation, which took about an hour, and then we were on the road. From the town of Grand Marais, we took the Gunflint Trail north to get to Seagull River boat landing, and the road was very scenic. The Saganaga portion of Boundary Waters has a 25 horsepower boat motor limit, so we used our 15 foot StarCraft to get to our destination. On the way to our campsite, we happened upon a group of Girl Scouts who had capsized one of their canoes. After some wrangling, we were able to get them to the safety of an island by towing them. After our detour, we were able to make it to Horseshoe Island at about 1 o'clock and we set up camp. Horseshoe Island is an amazing campsite because it overlooks the water and the nicest thing is it has a prevailing breeze which keeps the mosquitoes at bay for most of the day. We camped three days at Horseshoe Island. The fishing wasn't the greatest but we did get some good smallmouth bass fishing and then we left our campsite packed up and went back on July 11th.
on our last day we had clear skies and calm water and everything was uneventful except my son got messy with his ice cream um, I would recommend the Boundary Waters to anybody who can get there and I hope everybody liked my video please subscribe to my channel and you'll get to see videos in the future thank you Thank you.